subquery. The name it's, itself is saying query inside the query. That is the subquery. Okay. Why why we need to use query inside query? And how it will work? Then we will see what are the types of subqueries. One is single row subquery. <coughs> multi row subquery. Multiple. <laughs> Correlated subquery. Nested subquery is what? This is the correlated subquery. Okay. Just a No. Single row subquery. First, if, <coughs> if you say subquery, there is two ways. One is outer query. There are two parts. One is outer query, and another thing is the inner query. Okay. Outer query and inner query. So I will tell you one example. Select employee number, employee name. So what you what we required, we need to display the employee numbers. Display the employee numbers. Department number details. My number is seven eight three nine. Whose employee number is seven eight three nine? So based on the name. So this is the query. Okay. So first we based on the name. First we need to find out the what is the employee name for the Employee number 7839. So we have seen that. Select the e name. This is the inner query. <coughs> uh, 
what it will come first so employee name will come so in first the inner query will execute and it will give the result so based on the inner query result the outer query will be executed so first what, what inner query will give king it will give so okay now the outer query will execute and outer query will execute and outer query will display the results okay based on the inner query result the outer query will execute and it will display the results see these are the employee details so instead of writing the two queries this is one query this is one query so instead of writing these two queries so i am writing everything into a single query in place of king i am using directly the query another query after number also i want to display king. this is the sub query so here inner query how many results it will it is displayed only one the inner query is displayed single record that is called as single row subquery in this inner query will display only single record okay the inner query will execute first and the outer query will be executed so in subquery every time whenever you write a subquery first the inner query will be executed okay and it will give the single record based on the inner query outer will query will be executed so if the inner query will give the single result single record that is called a single row subquery <coughs> then what if the inner query will give the more more records means more than one record so here one one record only came so but based on the name we have displayed this condition now based on the department number i will display display the employee number employee name salary department details of the employees <clears throat> whose department location is otherwise whose department name is accounting Your accounting department yeah accounting department is there that department number is 10 this is the employee type. so i want the employee details whose department number no sorry whose department name is accounting but account department name column is not there in employee table we have department number but we don't know so here we can see directly the, uh, for accounting department there is a 10th department number but if there is any more record if there is any use record sets we don't know what is the department number for accounting department name <clears throat> okay in that scenario first you need to find what is the department number for the accounting department how you will find just tell me the query first i want to find out the department number for the for the name accounting this is a simple search query only just tell me anyone Which table we can see? Department table we can see. Okay. By using department number, I want to display department number where the department name is accounting. <coughs> Tell me the simple query. Anyone?
Yeah, Rabu. department table. So I am asking, we need to display department number for the department name accounting. Select department number uh, from employee. Where uh, e name is uh, accounting. <clears throat> in employee table, we don't have. I, I am having only in department table. So, based on this table, tell me that. Department number is already there, no? Yeah. It's a 10 like that. You don't consider that? I want the department number only. Okay. See, this is department number, department table. Okay. Okay. There is so here only five records are there. So now you you can find ten department number is there. But I am having thousand records or ten thousand records. Mm -hmm. So I want to see for the accounting department for the accounting department what is the department number. So here you can see directly for accounting department there is a department number is ten. But if there is any huge records, I want to find out through query, what is the department number for the accounting department? Have everyone understood the query? Yes. Sai? Select, depart select department number from employee where uh, we should. Again, you are saying employee. So forget about employee table. We have only this table. So I want to display the department number for the accounting department. Select department number from the department. From department. Where? Department name. Email. Department name for yeah. so accounting. accounting. Oh, this is simple only. Why you are confusing me? Okay, now we found found the department number. Why I am finding this? So there is a query. I want to display the employee number, employee name, salary, department number details of the employee whose department name is accounting. Okay, this is the query. I want to display these details. Whose department name is accounting? Okay. So these are details in which table? Employee table. These all are in employee table. But in employee table, we don't have department name column, right? So, but here, based on the department name only, we need to display. But department, but in employee table, what is there? Department number is there. In these department numbers, we don't know what is the department number for the accounting department. So we need to find out first from where, from department table. So that only we have done here. That only we have done here. Select department number from department where department name equal to accounting. So this is the first step. Okay, now we found out the department number. Then what is the second step? We need to display simply display this details. Okay, just keep in mind this query. So for this query only we are making the query. So we need to display simply this. Select these things from employee. 
accounting department okay now you got the accounting department but here what we have done two queries separately we have done but i didn't i don't want this i want everything into the single query only so first what i want select employee number employee name salary comma department number from where from employee to where what is our condition department name is accounting where if i say department name this column is not present in the employee table so we have in employee table only department number okay department number equal to which department number we want the accounting department number we want accounting department from where we need to find from department table Select the department number from department. Name equal to accounting. That's it. This is the query. So this is the subquery. Okay. Based on these type of requirements, subqueries will be helpful. this so the first inner query given single result what is that 10 inner query uh, gave the single result that is 10 after that outer query is executed so inner query is given result 10 after that the outer query is executed okay that is the single row sub query Next query, you want to tell anyone? Based on the location. I want to display all these things. Display employee number, employee and salary department details of the employee whose location is Texas. Not tell anyone. Just think and let me. Know. I will give you two minutes time. Write the query and send me in chat box. Hello, Raghu bro. Yes. Not able to hear, man. I'm not speaking anything. Oh, okay, okay, have, okay, cool. I have given time to you for query. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm on login, so okay. I did not hear. Yeah, okay, okay. No problem. So everyone is trying this query? Uh, Raghu bro. Uh, yeah. In this query, we have any department number? 
no we don't have any department number okay 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 so just keep in mind we have employee table and department table employee table and department table so what is there in employee table so this is there in department table next thing is everything is generated employee generated yeah select employee select select from employee table where location is texas location equal to texas employee table. where location equal to texas that's it Yeah, in this query we have employee table and department name only, right? In employee table, where you found the location column? For everyone's understanding only, I'm telling you. You only tell the query. That's it. So if I tell everything, okay, this is simple okay. only. That's like that. You will fill everyone. Okay. So if you think you will get to know what is the sub query, then why it will be useful? So, bro, department name equal to account. So we will consider department name also, right? Yeah, anything you can consider. Yeah, just tell me the query. Your wish, anything you can consider. But I want display, I want output. Brother, select employee select name from department. Department accounting. Where department accounting? Okay, just write the query and send me in chat box. I'll give you another two minutes time. Whatever right or wrong, just uh -huh. write the Hello. Yeah. Who is this DCGT nine? Hello. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. You think who is this DC GT9 name? I don't know, bro. This one BPSC versus Banu. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. This DC you have tried the query, that is okay. See.
Sai. Sai has given this. Okay, we'll see all these queries. First query, someone has sent this query. Select a name from employee. So okay, anything, star or anything. Okay, that is all. That is fine. From employee, where location is Texas. But where is the location in employee table? There is no location column, right? Then how the result will come like this? Okay. This is the wrong. Next. This is the query. Select E number, E name, salary from employee. Where this is also you tried correct only, but this is wrong. So inner query will give all results. Star you said. If you say star, inner query will result will give all records from the department table. So this is also wrong query. Sai has sent this. Select employee number, employee name, salary, it department number from employee, where it are department number. Yeah, this is the correct query. This is the correct query. I will explain now. I'll leave it. Now what is our query? This is our query. I need to display these details from for, of the employee whose location is Texas. Okay. But in employee table, there is no Texas. In which table, uh, sorry, in employee table, there is no location column. In which table we have location column? This department table, we are having location column. And here there is Texas, Texas, Texas. Okay. Now, but to join these two tables, employee table and department table what is the common column department number department number first what we need to do we need to find out the department number for the location why because in employee table so everything we need to display the columns employee number employee name salary department number everything is in employee table right so that is the reason we need to display from employee table so to display the employee table from employee table we need the location details. But location details are in department table. So first we need to find out the department number. So Texas department number is 10. Texas department number is 30. Texas department number is 50. So these three department details I want. Okay. First find out what is the department number for the Texas location. Select department number. From department A, where location is going to be called to Texas. Clear? First, I have found the department numbers for the Texas. Select department number from department where location is equal to Texas. Now I found it. I found the department numbers. For the Texas location. Okay, now what we can do? These three we can uh, insert into the main query, right? Select employee number, comma, e name, comma, salary, department number, where department number equal to. What is this? 10, 30, 50. So instead of writing 10, 30, 40, so this total select query I'm taking inside, okay? This total select query I'm taking as inner query. Okay. This is the inner query result. 
so now i made the sub query so i am executing this what is showing single row sub query returns more than one row how it is now that uh, this is single row sub query single row sub query returns more than one row means sub query inside query this is the inner query inner query is returning more than one row see here inner query how many records it is returning three records three records but with the with the help of equal to symbol we can compare only single row okay if you write department number equal to equal to 10 comma 30 comma 40 this is wrong we cannot compare with equal to symbol with comparison operator when i told comparison operator i have explained this with equal to we can compare only single record so department number equal 10 it will work department number equal 30 it will work department number equal 50 it will work but all department number 10 30 50 it will not work so is there any other operator we can use here in 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 operator now our result came so this is our required results here inner query how many records it displayed more than one okay this is called multiple row sub query so in previous example inner query has written single record that is called single row sub query if the inner query is returning more than one row that is called multiple, multiple row yes then what is called it is called multiple sub so this sub queries is very important that is the reason i am taking so much time on this sub queries otherwise i would have completed this topic today only see another example okay. this is the query that is query to find all employees whose salary is below average of for their department for their particular department so all employees means how we can display employee number like employee salary what is this query means first query to find all employees Whose salary is below average for their department? Below average for their department. This is the employee table. Okay. Now I want to see the average of average of the salary for the particular department. Just to forget about this query, everything. I want to display average salary for the particular department. Okay. So 
Just tell me this way. Display average salary for the particular department. Means this is the employee table. Select department. Order by department. So in 30th department, what is the average salary? 20th department, what is the average salary? Like that. Okay, just tell me now. Select. Department. Hmm. Just. From. Uh, select the average. So this is the table. What I want, just listen again. For the particular department, 10th department, what is the average salary? 20th department, what is the average salary? 30th department, what is the average salary? How the average will calculate? It's 10 records, three records. First, it will calculate all records. Select the star from select the star from the department department number, whereas salary uh, average salary average mm -hmm. according to the from salary. That, that's the reason I'm saying. Just listen. Okay. Just think first. This is only employee table. Now there is no work with the department table. Okay. Only employee table, everything is there. What I want, I want the average salary for the particular department. If the 10th department is there, what is the average salary? 2450 plus 1300 plus 5000. This is the divided by 3. This will give my average salary for the particular department. So like that, another other departments, 20th department average salary, 30th department average salary. Do we have any, first of all, do we have any function to calculate the average? Yes, dual. Uh, which function? Dual. You can calculate. Uh, Here is the pseudo table, right? Yeah. So I'm okay. asking function. Function. Okay. So can anyone tell uh, which functions are available in SQL? Any function you remember in SQL? Some count, they all will be there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some ah, count so average. Sorry. Yeah, average function is there, right? So yeah. that function we can use here, right? Yeah. Yeah, then tell me the query. Then. Select the average salary from employee. Average of? From yeah. From this query what it will give average salary from the total employees average salary for the total employees but i want department wise salary department wise average select department number yeah department number the average salary from employee where department number is Group by department number, order by group. Name is not required. Group by department number. So we are grouping with the department number, right? So that is why I am written group by department number. So order by, if you want to give, you can give. So I give order by also.
So now I found the department wise average salary. Now come to the main query. Query to find all employees whose salary is below average for their departments. Again, same thing. Select from the line number. So I'm I'm displaying only four columns. If you want, you can use star also. No problem. Salary. I will taking only four columns. If you want, you can use any any columns. Salary is less than select average of salary employed unemployed now select the career of chimney so these are all below below the average salary so what is the average salary yeah this is the average salary so our query is we need to find out the all employees whose salary is below the average of the salary. Below the average of salary. Below the average salary means these all records came. If you want to see above the salary, greater than. Above the salary, greater than. So you need to understand how to make a subquery, then when to make a subquery. These are the greater than values. Clear? So without subquery, can we achieve this? So if you know the average salary, so if you know this average salary, then you can give directly here. Directly inside you can view, but we don't know what is the average salary. First, we need to find out, and based on that, we need to display these results. So, for the subquery topic will be helpful. Okay, this is what subquery single row subquery because inner query is written single row. So, if the inner query is written in multiple rows, then that is a multiple row subquery. Okay. Clear? Everyone will hear clear? Yes, yeah. Next topic is correlated subquery. That is a little bit confusing topic. Important also. I am not discussing now. We will discuss tomorrow then. So mostly joins and subqueries are the very important topics. You need to use in real time, all queries will be depends on the subqueries and joins only. I'm not saying only these things, but functions are those also will be helpful. But main thing is subqueries and joins. So you need to practice more. Okay, these two we have covered, and uh, tomorrow we will discuss this correlated subquery and Analytical functions are there. Bro, na ka path video second na telite bro. Okay. So did you get the link drive link? No. Drive link ke raha tha neko. Drive link ke raha le ne drive le source ke raha the mail open yesi danto. Are they mail costs together? Drive link. 
అవును అది పాతవే ఉన్నాయి కొత్తవి లేవు అందరికి వచ్చిందా డ్రైవింగ్ రాఘ్రోకేవచ్చు Thank you. Yeah, okay, bye. Ah, Bhanu, what do you want to do? I want to do it. I want to do it. Can you share the screen? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? only host can share this meeting only the host can share this meeting on our channel yeah, just stop recording just